Good morning, Dave here. I uh, redid my anvil stand. Wanted to share that with you. Um, I just wanted to go over a few things with it. A couple things I wanted to talk about here, and this is one of them. But uh, I make these out of two inch uh, square tube, eighth inch wall, and that's plenty strong enough. And I like to put four legs. I splay them out at the corners about 15 degrees. Some people more, some people less. Some people don't like it. But let me tell you, this gives you a good solid foundation for the size of the tool you'll have on top of it. This is the little baby right here that's going on it. And um, it's got a pretty big uh, base right here. Uh, this is this is actually a cast anvil. It's very old, but uh, it's not wrought. It's cast, and the face was just really destroyed on this one. So I put a new face on it, and I I did. I used uh, stainless. Oh well. And uh, anyway, what I wanted to say was one thing people may not know some do but uh, stainless steel is work hardenable and it will the more you use it the harder it gets and it will work hardened glass hard glass hard and you know what glass will do when you hit it it shatters that's that's a uh, you know uh, millions of reps on it so it would last for a good good long time if you use it all the time every day as a work handle like they did back in the you know the, the before welding wasn't uh, electric arc welding was invented th then it would probably last uh, 10 years but today the uh, since the blacksmithing is just a an art now it's not a job it probably lasts hundred years or a couple hundred years or who knows but uh, it will get harder the more you use it but anyway back to my anvil stand and I like four legs splayed out at each corner and the reason for that is more stability now I know the different surfaces you put on it uh, all four legs aren't going to touch the ground so what I did to mitigate that was put a uh, this is just a half inch nut welded on and I only did it on two legs this one and, and this one because if it's gonna go it'll go this way or this way so you only need to lift one leg anyway what I wanted to do was was to talk about uh, some um, steam pipe and uh, in my <laughs> when I was working uh, I welded quite a bit of steam pipe, and uh, uh, we did a lot of of, uh, of uh, cannery work, and and they always was uh, 150 psi, and the reason for that was Schedule 40 is rated for 150 psi. A lot of people now where I work, and, and a lot of people I worked with insisted you had to have Sked 80, and I don't know what Sked 80 is. Uh, it's got to be at least 300 psi, more or less. I don't know, but I got this uh, pipe here. I don't know if it'll show up or not. I don't know if you can see that. Uh, I think you can. It says Schedule 10. This is Schedule 10, which is a schedule thinner than Schedule 40. And if we cruise along here, you can see this. This thing is rated for 300 PSI. And that is a little bit confusing to me. You can see the wall thickness is schedule 10. This is two inch pipe, which is uh, uh, two and three eighths. What is this, two inch? So it comes out to two and three eighths. OD. Well, anyway, this is uh, Schedule 10 rated for 300 PSI, which uh, goes counter 
intuitive to everything that I did all my life. I don't know if this is a special steel. I don't know. But uh, anyway, if anybody knows anything about, I, I, I'm going to call it a newfangled pipe. Schedule 10 rated for 300 PSI. Because I worked a long time. I mean, I'm telling you, I started welding in about 69. And Schedule 40 was always 150 PSI. That was that was what it was rated. I think it would burst at double that, which is normal. But it was rated for uh, 150 PSI. That's why all your uh, food processing plants and your dehydrators and everything, they, they always have their boilers set at 150 PSI because you do 150 PSI and then you, anything off the shelf of schedule 40 is good to go in. and you can get schedule 40 over here at Lowe's or Home Depot or any steel yard and uh, it's off the shelf ready to go island item uh, really simple to use we built I built a lot of um, steam racks in my time which which actually reduces the steam down to working pressure because when you're processing food you don't do it at 150 psi uh, uh, 15 psi will give you 245 degrees it, uh, uh, the temperature and the uh, pressure are directly correlated together and uh, where I work we would have to sterilize the equipment I'd, and uh, we always only got 15 psi they gave us a 15 psi pop-off valve so there was no way you could get more pressure than that and and that would give you 245 degrees and uh, I, I, my, all my uh, career there I always asked for one more psi because 16 will give you 245 real easy 240 but 15 <laughs> you gotta work for it anyway if anybody uh, knows anything about this uh, schedule 5 uh, 300 or uh, schedule 10 excuse me uh, 300 PSI pipe uh, leave it in the comments in the bottom because this is a new one on me talk to you guys later bye